No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want anything. You really don't. Want I don't anything? want anything. Seriously. Okay. okay. You're very welcome. Um, Thank have you. a beautiful time. Thank yeah. Have a, you too. Take care. Take care. Take care. It looks like a secret beach. It does. It is a secret beach. Look at this. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode from Glen and Maddo. We are currently in Dunedin and ready to embrace another adventure today. Guys, today we're gonna check out the peninsula here in Dunedin. So we may we want to see the Lanar Castle and the Royal Albatross all the way at the end of the peninsula and the Sandfly Bay. So this is our objective. But I think first we have to check on the peninsula to get a coffee. Yes, coffee is always <laughs> a need on our adventures. Please subscribe, it would mean the world to us and it helps us to broadcast this beautiful country to you guys. It keeps us motivated yeah. to keep making more content. <laughs> I think we said this now many times before but I'm so impressed by the beautiful buildings here in Dunedin, the so-called Edinburgh, Edinburgh of em Dunedin. Edinburgh of Dunedin, yeah. The Scottish no, town of Edinburgh New Zealand. of New Zealand, yeah. 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 Guys, for everyone who is wondering what we're doing here so long in Dunedin, we are doing house sitting looking after two sweet cats they're so adorable and they had the really the best time here in Dunedin maybe this is our last video here in Dunedin before we're heading down to the Catlins and make our way down to the Southland guys it's actually warmer than it looks today so we're just on Portobello Road here guys we have a cafe just behind us we're looking over the Mac Andrew Bay it's a, it's a marina a few boats here in the water it's a beautiful day for it. it's very hot it's, but it's really, there's an overcast it's really hot and overcast yeah this is so nice it's only like 20 minutes from the Kaikoura valley where we currently stay the duck cafe is over here yeah. it's a nice little uh, harbor town here it's a few shops very uh, local orientated there's a little school over here as well i love these book um book boxes here in new zealand you give and take books and you know you share books it's a pretty cool uh, concept here in New Zealand I've seen it in a lot of places too we are open very surprised during the holidays actually yeah actually it's one of the how are you? you good? how's your day going? good can I get a long black please yeah That'd be great. Uh, sorted. We're ready for the road trip now. You want to head to the water? Uh, walk over to the water and explore. Nice, it's actually a nice place to sit down here. Yeah. Let's explore the town over here. Explore the, the area as well. You we have to try because it's actually a really cute cafe. It is. Okay. Did he see you? Did he pooped on the car? He didn't, did he? No. And he cleaned that. He's lucky. <laughs> he would have gotten a whipping. There's the nice. Larnac Castle. There's the Larnac Castle, Madeline. Huh? The Larnac Castle. Larnac, I think. The Larnac. The Larnac. Castle. 500 meters. So guys, we're at Larnac Castle, and we got from two really nice French girls a free ticket. So I want to go in and have a look because Glenn doesn't like museums. So, but this is mad. They already, um, they already have to pay here. So we have to see if. Just you can drop me off or something, um, yeah. and you can come back. Oh yeah, well, hey, um, we're just dropping her off. Just she has a ticket here. Sure. I'm gonna. Good. Sorry. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. turn around here. Yeah. I'll just out the awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Thank Appreciate you. That. Thank you. Appreciate that, boss. Thank you. Right, yeah. You get out here. Yeah. Uh, can can he drop yeah, me yeah, over yeah, there yeah, and then? Yeah, yeah. No, not here. Over there. Right here. Here? Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna she's gonna take one for the team and see the the yeah, she's gonna see the castle for us and I'm gonna explore my own I'm gonna make my own video as well. So, so she's gonna document and I'm gonna document at the same time. So I'll see I'll see how that works out. Yeah, because I like castles. That's a bit steep, like forty five dollars. Otherwise you wouldn't have even come here guys. It's really expensive, isn't it? Goodbye, Madeleine. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Are you touring? Yeah. Oh oh yeah, my, yeah. I'm Mark, this is Kira, my wife's Caroline. Nice Caroline to meet you, yeah, no worries. In the front. In the front. First of all, thank you for stopping. We You're pretty welcome. We're stranded. We tried to get here. <laughs> we were just you trying to get into downtown. Okay, we're yeah, yeah, no worries. Here. Is this your phone? Yeah, that's what That's your phone. Okay, my phone's sir. in my pocket. No I got worries. Everything. You look we, like you play rugby. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a... 
Oh, we, we just got to gym a lot. Well, just every second day. <laughs> well, we get down the bottom of the hill, we think we can Uber, but nobody's accepting it. No, you won't get Uber up here, I'll say. Uh, um, I'll, I'll, I, don't really, I don't really know this area either. I'm just uh, passing, passing by as well and just dropping me girlfriend off to check the castle out there. So It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'm not really into museums, so I thought I'd give it a miss. <laughs> but... oh, uh, look at this. People sitting outside having tea. So you can go inside and outside. Guys, yeah, what a beautiful place to build a mansion. So I actually just learned that in the 1870, William Lennar, he was an Australian banker, um, came to Dunedin. So he came lured kind of by the wealth that was promised here in, in New Zealand and then following the gold rush. So he lived here with his three wives until the 1898 um, when he actually took his own life. What a tragic story to be honest. I mean Glenn always um, just joins me on botanic gardens but he doesn't actually enjoy them so much so but I'm glad I get to enjoy this. Oh, look at this. I'm actually not surprised that William Lanark, who owned this place here, came here in the 1870s, that he built his amazing mansion, which I will show you later on. And it's actually called the Otago Peninsula. I was always saying like Dunedin, but it's called the Otago Peninsula. Oh guys, seriously, it's okay, no problem. No, you don't have to give me anything. I'm just, I'm just driving anyway, so no issue. No, no cash. Don't have to give me any cash. No, no, no. I don't want I have, anything. I have American cash. That's all right. <laughs> I know. Hold on. Hold Thank on. So no, much. it's okay. It's okay. I don't want anything. You really don't want I don't anything? want anything. Seriously. Okay. okay. You're very welcome. Um, have you. a beautiful time. Have yeah. Have a you too. Take care. Take care. Take care. <laughs> So yeah, them guys were stuck and we just I just gave them a lift. I drove nearly 20 minutes back to Dunedin just to um, give them a lift back just to be nice. Just to have a nice conversation as well. Lovely people. We're on a cruise. And yeah, I'm about to go drive back now close to the castle again. I'm going to explore that area now where Maddo is doing her thing now. There it is, his mansion. The Lanark Castle named after William Lanark. I hope, oh guys, I hope I pronounce it correctly. There's so many buses. So many so many foreign tourists okay so what is this here on my map i think it's called cupola cupola and the flowers okay this is nice but guys i have to say like it probably took me just 10 minutes to walk through this entire garden and i stopped like million of time of recording this because i find it so strange when glenn is not here <laughs> i'm like i was so used to like walking around with Glenn all the time. Okay, guys, I just entered the castle and it's actually a self guided tour. And they only check the tickets now, so I'm wondering whether you can just go to the gardens without a ticket. Um, but yeah, it was just a staff member just checking. It's very beautiful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So nice matches the vibe of the place. It's really giving me English or like these Irish castle vibes. It's like I definitely love a good chandelier. This is currently driving back to the castle towards Madeline and I took a different route. I took a scenic route. Portobello Road is right down there along the water. And I took the mountain way to embrace this lovely view we have here looking over the bay. It's gorgeous. We have a few cows over here as well, doing their thing, eating a bit of grass. And there's Dunedin in the background where I just dropped off the two Americans coming from Florida. Like I said, they're on a cruise exploring uh, New Zealand and yeah, they're just trying to see that castle. So they were stuck. They couldn't get an Uber, he said, because it was in the middle of nowhere and it's a bit awkward to get there. So yeah, I did my good deed for the day and I'm happy with the results. It's always a give and take in life, guys. So you have to give back sometimes. And yeah, it's great. They actually have a soldier's monument park here. There's a little track with a soldier on top of the hill. So I'm going to quickly check it out. Um, it's probably just a memory of some soldiers that passed away maybe during the war. So I'm gonna run up the hill and check it out quickly before picking Madeline up. Maybe that was one of his wives. Willie, William Lanark. And that was him, Douglas Lanark. And now maybe one of his kids. 
Wow, look at this little bathroom. Guess there's still a few rooms here under restoration. It says restoration of this room is a future project when funds allowed. So they're still working on a lot of rooms. A lounge or something with a view over the garden and a peninsula. Nice. Chill out. We're we'll probably chill out having a having a cup of tea. <laughs> Did you see the rest of this? Oh wow, look at this. Another, oh wow, stone, marble or something. So it's actually, it's actually quite big. The castle is quite big. It's like three floors and the top floor is like bathrooms and children's. Probably the nicest view here up here on the tower so i just have to make the way down there there's so many tourists up there I'm trying to sprint up the hill as fast as possible it's very steep though the view is outstanding though portobello the road is down there there's a statue guys it's beautiful it's gorgeous and the statue looks over the horizon here of the needing it's unreal look i get 360 degree angle of the whole area incredible i say Maddo's jealous while well, she's checking out the, the castle people chilling out having a cup of tea so they do have a coffee shop down here but i have to say this is the most amazing view up here guys look at this that's insane that's pretty cool. What a view. Right on, right on top of this old stone. Otago Peninsula, Peninsula, Otago Peninsula, Fallen Soldiers. 1914 to 1918, World War One, I, I think. In memory of these grey soldiers. There's a big list. But here, it's a lovely spot to check out guys while you're in Dunedin. You get this view. This view is absolutely gorgeous. The peninsula, the peninsula itself is gorgeous too. It's so long, I'm gonna, gonna probably drive ahead and check it out fully. Here to take on the world, guys. We are here to conquer the world and conquer New Zealand fully. Look at this, probably William Lanari's bedroom. Who knows, who knows. Oh, this is probably what it looked back in the days. Lanari Castle. Oh, look at the beautiful lavender here. Guys, I'm just taking a moment to sit down, to wait. I'm actually finished now with the tour. I'm just waiting for Glenn to pick me up. Um, I have to say, the castle was really beautiful. It is really an old historic building and I'm glad the Barker's family um, is taking care of it and restoring and keeping this kind of place alive. But I do have to say, for me personally, I wasn't too surprised or anything I've never seen before because I did have seen a lot of castle in Ireland and I assume they're the same in England um, yeah so if you've seen castles before it's probably not too surprising or won't amaze you that much but don't get me wrong it's definitely a beautiful place to check out um, but yeah it, it does cost $45 and you probably be finished by you know it took me kind of an hour to walk through so yeah guys this is absolutely beautiful this way incredible look at the view it looks like Ireland it looks like Ireland. You probably had the best time of your life. I did, yeah. Reunited, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> Tell some stories. I picked up two Americans, I dropped them off somewhere. What? Yeah. Like, Glenn, Glenn has this extroverted personality. He loves talking to other people. That's why we, we compliment each other so well, because he likes talking to people. I'm not so much. Don't get me wrong, I do like talking to people, but I'm more introverted, so I, I wouldn't just go to people and strangers and talk to them, so that's the difference. And we don't know you well! Yeah, exactly. You and now we're reunited. Yeah, we are. Oh, and, no. oh no! And now, guys, uh, what's going on? Is that a self contained spot here, or people just park here? People just park here, man. People okay. just park in here? I'm not so sure, do they? Taking on the car spots. Oh, there's a parking there. You sure? Yeah, there. 
It's pretty funny, you just have all self-contained kind of vehicles here parked up at the San Floyd Bay. It's four minute viewpoint, of course. What I really like, what I like so much when they talk about keep the distance from seal and penguins. Never yeah. seen signs like this. Because That's in New have, Zealand. We don't have penguins. No. It's a gorgeous view, isn't it? Will be beach, lots that, of sheep. That really reminds me of Ireland. It does. The yellow-eyed penguins. Plenty of seals, plenty of penguins. It is a quite isolated beach, though, away from the reality, away from people, the civilization. Is, the thing is called Bay of Flying Sand. It's called Sandfly Beach because of the flying sand, not because of the flies. I thought it was the flies. Yeah, me too. <laughs> these views are so beautiful. Oh, these views are insane. So we're going to the Sandy Mount. Reservoir, is it reservoir? Sandy Mount, look out. And our favorite, our favorite, we have a gravel road. Only the best adventures are at the end of a gravel road. Very true fact, very true. Wise words. <laughs> oh my car! Because then not everybody comes here. Sandy Mount Recreation Reserve. So we're going on the other side of the, the beach. That's apparently a really nice walk I've read on all trails that I'm using for walks. Really Look story. at the lovely view behind us we have. Looking over the, the lake. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's we're gonna, gorgeous. We're going to have a few nice viewpoints here. Right into the world here, Mado. Going into the wilderness. Sand Floyd Bay. Are we going towards Sand Floyd Bay again? You can walk from the Sand Floyd Bay or Sandy Mount. Do a Mount. loop track, yeah? You're gonna, you can walk all the way to the Sand Floyd Bay. Yeah? The tree is an obstacle course. Energy's Not feeling the best, eh? My energy is slowly coming back. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that beautiful view, guys, in the background. Absolutely insane. Up to the top we go. Keep going, keep pushing the limits here, yeah? Yeah, well able. Quick climb, quick ascent. Getting the cardio in, guys, getting the cardio in. Burning the extra calories, staying fit, staying alive. Your health is your wealth, guys, so it's super important to get the old, get the old walks in. You enjoying the view up there? Yeah, it's a bit overgrown. You can't see much. So must be not well, okay. must be not well maintained. I mean, but it's also like the environment, it's good if the native plants are grown. Yeah. Indeed. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. So, yeah. That's north. North is that direction over them. It's beautiful. Lovely. And you have actually a, you actually have a clear view, so and this is where we are going after all the way to the end of the peninsula. It's where the Royal Albatross, these massive birds are yeah, yeah where they're living. The board so. headquarters. <laughs> Bird headquarters? Board headquarters, yeah. Oh Pretty wild around here. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the wild west here. Looking at our lovely sea here. Look. Look at our waves. How did the how the hell did the sand get up get up here? Full fully emerged sandy track. And we're sliding down the hill here. It's a bit of uh, interesting uh, walk. I told you it's an adventure. It is a wild adventure. All the sand goes it's difficult to actually walk through. Sliding away through. Yeah, you should have put on your hiking. It wouldn't make a difference, it'd be still sliding. Mm -hmm. This could be in Ireland, guys. This looks literally like Ireland. Isn't that right, Madeline? Yeah. Gorgeous. There's nobody around. No. It's great. We have the track to ourselves. Over you go, Maddo. Use your climbing skills. There you go. Animal protection. Yeah. So actually, this track is closed for lambing season, I think from September yeah. on. A lot of uh, tracks will be, actually. I've seen that a few times, haven't we? There are a lot of sheep around here in this area. There is. Guys, you see sheep in the distance along the cliffside. That is gorgeous. We need to go over and say hello to the sheep. But slowly and quietly because you don't want to disturb the peace. There's two individuals taking photos, I think, of the sheep on the cliffs here. The cliffs look very dangerous, guys. There's all the lovely sheep on the, on the cliffside. Say hello to the sheep, Maddo. Gorgeous, Andy. Nice and fluffy. I think they need a bit of shearing. I think they need a bit of shearing, Maddo. Sheep's a gorgeous, aren't they? It's a great way to represent the country here. The country of sheep. But like you have the green fields, the mountains, the coastal cliffs, and then the sheep. An amazing way to present this country completely. Enjoying a bit of grass? Chewing your jaw all day? The nature of sheep. Chewing and eating all day. 
what a great life no stress <laughs> such a cool track where they just like just yeah. roaming around freely well we were walking on their land yeah you know the gorge is empty all right going over the cliff here to enjoy the coastal cliffs guys it's beautiful isn't it and honestly this part of the needing here the peninsula feels like ireland guys it does this part feels like ireland right here it's the same kind of conditions similar kind of grass conditions coast coastal cliffs and lots of sheep it's on the dead body. Hey, let's go, Madeline. Then let's go. Let's make some bone bra. I'm gonna make some bone bra with some sheep skills. Hey, is that a human? Oh, that's a, that's a sheepy. Why would you touch this? It's well disease free by now. It's a skeleton. I'm so surprised that you never catch any disease. I don't catch anything, I'm invincible. Where are you going into the wild? Right here in the middle of nowhere, really trying to enjoy this moment of peace. A way to be grateful for life and this opportunity to see this beautiful country. I'm just grateful for living and being healthy and yeah, having a matter in your life. <laughs> uh, you're so adorable. The view was insane. You're missing out, Maddo. She's looking well. Oh my God, look at that. That is lovely. That's a nice beach down there. It looks like a very secretive beach. It looks like something out of a movie. It doesn't look real, but it is real. It's the reality right now. Ah! It looks like a secret beach. It does, it is a secret beach. Look at this. What's that beach called even? Guys, we're at Sandy Mount Allen's Beach Lookout. What a beautiful spot here in on the peninsula on the Otago Peninsula. Peninsula. Another school. Yeah, I know. Let's go. We are very close to the car park. Yeah, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Sheep for the shearing. The shearing, yes. 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 They want the shearing in there. Shearing in there and they store the sheep in there overnight. And then they poo into the ground where they actually can collect a lot of poo overnight. Do you believe uh, it or not? Because we did that as a job. And you're so smart. You learned all this. Yeah, so in these... Headquarters where the sheep are stored overnight, they they uh, they don't eat, so it makes it easier for the person to share the the, sh the sheep. So guys, so the last bit of the track is actually this beautiful little forest. It's very mysterious, How isn't it? Is that? It's gorgeous. And it's only five more minutes to the car park. Yeah. I have to and say, then we're good to go. I have to say, this is this this little track has it all. It has beaches and water and sheep and, sheep <laughs> and green and oh, yeah. forest and everything so definitely thumbs up 10 out of 10 but i highly recommend it if you do that trek the at the sandy mount recreation with the viewpoint and all uh definitely do it anti-clockwise because the first part was really steep downhill to sand and you want to avoid that going yeah up you don't want to go so. up the sand hill you want to <laughs> go down it yeah. The way we went, so it's and better. Like, and, be, and I say it because almost everybody just going the other way, so which is just making it more difficult for yourself. Yeah. And there's no steep part if you do it anti-clockwise. Okay. There's spooky trees. Eating the dead. No, sweet. I don't think so. No, it's just that season. season? They're alive, alive what and well. Season? Time to hit the road, Maddo. I mean, poor car got filthy. It was spotless. Now it's all dirty again. No. So I want to check out. Oh, I stuck the Royal Albatross. Where's that? At the end of the peninsula. Yeah, okay. Is it nice? I don't know. It's the birds, the big birds. Ew. You know? There's a sign there, free range eggs, six dollars for ten. We need to get some eggs actually, so I need to stock up. It's nice the way you can just stop at places and get eggs. But uh eggs? Oh yes. Can yes. I grab some eggs off you? Yeah. Can you get um do you have two cartons, do you? Uh, I just one. Oh, can I just uh, have a look? Yeah, no worries, no worries. I think maybe just one. Yeah, no worries at all. Hello. Hello, beautiful. She's actually fine. Appreciate that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's wagging her tail, sure. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> annoying. Appreciate that, thank you. <laughs> yeah, just seen on the way, boy. It's great the way you just can get eggs on the way anywhere. Oh, yeah. That's it's very good. convenient sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, thanks very all much. Right, all the best. We got some eggs, we get some eggs, we got stock. Organic, my favourite. There's the chickens over there doing that thing. Oh, there's, that's a beautiful chicken. Look, look at the hen over there. She's, she has a lovely 40 coat. 
Lovely for you. We got the stock, madam. We got the stock. Oh wow! How much? Six dollar. Oh yeah, they're good. Good this. Oh my god! All them cheapies crossing the roads. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god, a lot of sheep. Oh my god! That's so cute. <gasps> That's so. Oh, the sh the sheepies. All them sheep. Sheepy sheared. Oh my god! They probably just it's just being fresh, freshly sheared. Being freshly shared. Yeah, there's there. a bit of blood on the on the coats. Because uh, they get getting caught with the, the wall. Wanna go to the store? In Portobello. Portobello store. That's it's funny, like there's a Portobello. I lived in Portobello in Dublin. You did, yeah. Look. Let's check out the store. That's cool. The Portobello ghost town, look, there's nobody around. It's literally empty. All the shops are closed. The hotel, everything. We have a little Portobello store. And Maddo's hungry and maybe we need a bit of food. That was at 7.30 so. Alright, you well? How's it going? Oh good. There's not much to eat, sister, except nachos from Maddo. We're approaching, approaching the end of the... And like this is a beautiful beach over there where we spend Christmas. Oh, Ama Oana Beach. There. And you actually see all the albatross flying over here. They're actually everywhere, Glenn. Seagulls. I'm not sure how much they charge to get inside but let's see I don't know if it's too high we're not gonna bother because you can see all the birds outside at the moment so they're everywhere they look like big seagulls what do you think Maddo? it's 54 euro ouch 64 euro for that is expensive for it's very expensive i think i'm just gonna go to the cafe then let's get a vegan point just to pick up while we're while we're here sure because we're probably not gonna pay 50 dollars to see that inside it's expensive for two of us then isn't it that's 110 dollars for two of us to go up there oh my god if you stand on the other side we've seen them Oh yeah, so the birds are over that hill over there, so there's a lot of seagulls and then you have to yeah. spray special birds so on the other side. When we were in Christmas at the Ara Moana beach, you actually seen the birds okay. over there. And so we've seen them, so there's no point really paying that much to go up and see them. It's expensive and I'm pretty sure they're doing a great job here to take care and protect the birds, but I think $60 is... Yeah, hard to say, isn't it? So we got a for each. Chicken and vegetable. But the cafe is right, there's 2.9, which we supported the cafe at least instead yeah. of going up to the birds sanctuary up there. But but it's also the cafe was 2.9, so we didn't do our research before buying something no, and I we lost we lost that battle. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I don't have to say like this was the worst rated coffee shop I've ever been to. It really was. <laughs> no, but like we were starving. We didn't bring any food, which was my fault. Smart. We could have, yeah, yeah, we kind of we told, we kind of knew by the customer service and yeah, the quality of the food. Over here, yeah. maybe you see the birds over here, Maddo. Can you see the birds from here, from the coast? Maybe you can. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Be nice to go down there, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we get to see them for free. <laughs> Oh, there, yeah, I see them. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, look, at, there he is. Wow. wow. Didn't realize they were that big. It's a sea lion rock. A sea lion down there, oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, it's camouflaged, yeah. Seeing plenty of them. A little seal down there, you see them. I mean, I'd say the, the tour is pretty cool, like, if you're into birds. Okay, it's pretty good. A lot of people say it's worth it. Guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Glenn, you're tired. Yeah, I did go to gym though. <laughs> it was a long day and he still wants to go to the gym. No Guys, what. we made it back home and we hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe to tag along for the next journey Catch where we later. kind of leave Dunedin and make our way to Catlin. So stay tuned for the next one.